Namaste Libra. This is your bi-weekly reading through the 15th of September, beginning with an overall energy of the five of pentacles, which is pretty much a card about fear of lack the way that I read it. It can mean that like, uh, or it, it's meant to illustrate that sort of feeling of everybody else is doing so wonderful. Everybody else has this and has that and has, and I don't like, I'm the only one that's suffering in the world and, and it's not fair. And you could be feeling like that, like the scales are out of balance, right? The scales that represent your, your very sign, Libra, um, scales of balance, scales of justice, sometimes they're also called. And, and it's fear of, of lacking something, of being without something that maybe other people do have. So um, in relationships, it can translate to things like fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, fear of commitment, Fear of even success and progress. Um, what they call mommy issues or daddy issues or trust issues. And as it relates to money, it could be like, am I going to have enough? Do I have enough? You know, are other people being more successful than me? When w will it be my turn? So we're starting with that. The next card is in reverse. It is the Nine of Cups, however, and the Nine of Cups is one of those cards that, whether upright or in reverse, it pretty much means the same thing. Uh, it's about wishes being granted, dreams coming true, prayers being answered. There, it does um, reduce sort of like the impact or the strength of the card to have it in reverse. You know, so maybe you're not getting uh, as big a dream fulfilled as you would have if the card was upright, but it's still super, super positive. We get an explanation as to why it may be in reverse, though, right? And opening up to um, the magician also in reverse, it means that you have everything you need in order to manifest like that big dream that you want to manifest, but you're not. For whatever reason, you're not using your strengths to their fullest um, capacity and capabilities. And actually the sign before you, Virgo, um, had a similar energy. Their card was, was strength itself in reverse, but the magician is very similar. Uh, the difference may be that strength represents the sign of Leo and the magician represents the sign of Gemini and the planet Mercury, which enters your sign this week on the 5th. Mercury enters Libra. And it's a very comfortable placement there for Mercury. Um, also being the ruler of the sign of Gemini, being the communication planet and planet of logic and, and intellect, entering a fellow air sign. It's very, very comfortable there. Uh, so here we also have the seven of swords in reverse. The seven of swords is another one of these cards of sort of lacking trust, whether in others or ourselves. Uh, could be lacking confidence, lacking esteem, being afraid to take risks. Here we have the queen of cups in reverse. Maybe some of you are Libra Scorpios, or if you're um, not tied to water, whether Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, um, also possible, or to somebody maybe that would make you feel like this, or is making you feel like this, it could also be that, um, you know, something in emotions, you're sort of feeling turned upside down in terms of your, you know, emotions, even if it is tied to work or the material or money. Um, so speaking of Scorpio, though, also opening to judgment in reverse. Judgment does represent the planet Pluto, which is one of Scorpio's rulers uh, and the sign of Scorpio itself. But judgment is another one of these cards that's super positive for me, whether upright or in reverse. And it is about abundance that's earned. So it's very much about manifestation and getting things and ascension, uh, awakening, increase in psychic gifts and stuff, too, um, because the universe can also reward us. For things, you know, like I said, a just, a just abundance that's earned. So we can earn abundance from the universe or from God directly in the form of um, greater enlightenment, clarity, and l luck. <laughs> right? Things come going our way. Um, but it's another one of those cards that, that, that maybe the impact is lessened if, or something may be delayed if it's in reverse. And lastly, opening to the Eight of Swords. Um, which is similar to the card with which we started, the Five of Pentacles, and is about fear of something. <laughs> we can get to the root. Lacking confidence, lacking esteem, being afraid to, to make a move, to take a risk, lacking faith.
you see the knight of swords sticking up i just smacked him down but that would represent your energy as an air sign as well as that of gemini and aquarius and now we have a much more positive overall energy um with which we're going to begin it is the six of pentacles which is a card of generosity um whether it's from you to somebody else it's, it's when it's upright like this it's typically from other people or entities to you in relationships it's a card of unconditional love for me it's gifts from the universe whether it be time effort energy from somebody or or, or some entity um or actual money credit a loan um some sort of assistance as if it dropped out of the sky to help you with you know a situation that you're having and look what it is and y'all saw me shuffle right in front of you um it is it, actually this card very much represents venus too who is um your course of course your ruler as a libra as well as that of taurus and gemini and then here um major arcana card 11 totally represents venus and most directly and specifically your sign um libra justice so that's the scales um, of balance and um, equality, justice, they go by different names. And with these two up right here as your overall energy, I think you're going to have a very good reading already and things going your way, you getting some um, of the assistance from the universe that you need from God. But let me pull out the stands so that we can have these cards sitting in frame in front of you during the reading and i'm going to pull the first one to most directly represent your energy over this period of the next two weeks through the 15th and it is the knight of wands in reverse a card that's largely about travel um often travel specifically for work or meeting someone through travel for work or something like that but we'll get to see in a moment what it may mean for you in addition to that surrounding energy so could be some more of your own energy uh close friends family members co-workers or something going on at the job relationships romantic interests mates and stuff four of swords in reverse somebody may be ready to come off a break um or interested in taking a break or vacation again travel <laughs> both of these cards are potentially about travel the card representing your work and finance over the period queen of cups still in reverse and lastly uh love and relationship knight of cups upright wow virgo's card um was also the knight of cups but theirs was reversed in this in this placement all right is everything in frame perfect all right, so getting back to the Six of Pentacles, I think it's most important that we first note that you guys have made a progression already in the reading. We began with an overall energy of the Five of Pentacles, and we talk, talking about lack and everything. And now the Six of Pentacles, which is about generosity. And I think the, the most um, important message for you guys is that even when you feel like, you know, you, you may be going without something or you, you are worried about that fact, there's always somebody else doing worse than you there's always somebody that is worse off to whom you can afford to be generous that you can afford to help and it doesn't necessarily mean with money i mean this can be um a listening ear a shoulder right to lean on a cry on spiritual help or support guidance um you know time energy love it's a card of unconditional love, the way that I read it and pick it up. Um, and that's why it's one of my favorite cards in the deck, actually. In, in terms of um, relationships, whether it's a stranger and you're walking by the street and they, they have a handout and you can afford to put a dollar or so in it, um, that's an act of unconditional love. You're not, you don't want anything back from this person. You're giving because you're giving, period, and you're going to keep walking. Um, but in relationships where we do actually know the people or even romantic interests and stuff, when we're gen genuinely sharing of ourselves and accepting of them, you know, so cause we, it requires an ability to both give and receive for love to be healthy. Love to, needs to be able to pass both ways to be healthy. And this card sort of embodies all of that for me. So I think it's really special that you... Um, you know, in a matter of maybe two minutes, <laughs> made that progression from the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. And that if you guys do become um, 
in a position to be generous, whether it is with your time um, or your money or some effort or something with, an, with another uh, human being that you take the opportunity. If you are blessed, then you in turn make sure to be a blessing to someone else, you know, in a, maybe in a similar way or somehow, that, you know, however you're able or capable. This is a positive card in love, work, finances, health, and spirituality. I and mean, in spirituality specifically, like I, I'm mentioning this because I just mentioned that it, this is one of the ways that maybe you can be generous. I, I think it's one of the ways that some of you are meant to be generous. Um, it's saying that you can afford uh, or, well, let me, you have guidance and understanding, clarity of something. Uh, that somebody else doesn't, that you can afford to enlighten them on or share, share with another person. I also want to point out um, the scales of justice or balance. I think I did already, but let's be clear about this, that that's showing up there. And then with Major Arcana card, justice immediately behind it. And of course, those same scales, it's about the, they want to point out that the scales are being evened out. S the sixes, number six, sixes are about equity and equality. Um, and balance and love. Uh, so this is about you getting your just due and the scales being balanced uh, in your favor, maybe where they had been out of balance in the past. So that's the part of the progression up from the five to the six. And also for some of you that could genuinely be um, some sort of legality, legal situation involving justice and again, in your favor. Very positive. News of it may be delayed. Something may be held up. I know like in New York, a lot of our courts are closed um, and things are backed up because of the COVID pandemic. You know, even though they started to get back to some cases when they we, we closed basically in March. So all those cases that were going to be heard, those are all backed up. And then plus new people have added new cases. So it could be something like that. Like it's your case when it comes up is going to go in your favor. Um, and maybe it's being reviewed now to be put back on the calendar but there is some sort of delay or maybe you're eager for a response for for news as to what might be happening with it um your concern maybe maybe that's what the five of pentacles was about and again um there is really no cause for concern this is going to go in your favor but you just may not be hearing immediately because the knight of wands um can be about messages that are that if we're awaiting the, a message or an answer or a decision about it being delayed and it asks us to try to be patient although the energy of wands can be you know aggressive and fast moving and and wanting to take action so it may, sometimes it can be difficult to be patient but it asks that we do that um uh, the Four of Swords, I just want to point out, is another one of these cards that can be saying, you know, there's some sort of um, need for a break. There's some sort of inf interruption or break. And getting back to this Knight of Wands and why I'm mentioning that is because particularly in work, and maybe this is in part why the Queen of Cups is in reverse, there could be some sort of interruption in your work. It could be something as small as you get pulled out of a meeting. So, you, you know... You're expecting to sit there and get all the information, but all of a sudden you get pulled out. Or, again, maybe there's unexpected travel or something involved in work. Maybe in, in a, something more serious or more impactful. For some reason, the job is shut down for a few days. Maybe, we, again, because of something like COVID or, you know, God forbid, like the fires in California. Um, things that are just happening all over the country and all over the globe that maybe there's a shutdown for a temporary period. I do feel it's temporary. You know, this doesn't stay in reverse um, forever. All right, so moving on maybe to love, um, there could be arguments that pop up or some sort of stress that, you know, minor arguments, nothing too serious. Uh, some sort of stress that you may be feeling in love in, a, in an existing relationship. And it's important if you want to maintain the relationship and take care of it and nurture it and stuff like that, that you try to get to the bottom of, of what that's about. Like try to get to the root um, cause. If you're arguing about whether or not the toilet seats up or what direction the you know the, the tissue is facing or um you know arguments about silly stuff the, the toaster and, and and whatnot it's not really about those things you know that's not really what your argument is about at the root 
So it, if you want to maintain the relationship and, um, you know, not allow something simple to get blown out of hand, then it's important to address it. Those of you who are single and looking, it's possible that you may find the one or have recently met and found the one and um, a permanent commitment could be coming about for you during this period. So that's very exciting. Um, before you go too fast, because again, the <laughs> wands can be about having trouble being patient and, and rushing into stuff. You know, just think about that. You know, might I be rushing into things? And, and then if you decide you are, slow down the pace a little bit. If you decide you're not, you know, keep, keep on going. So moving on to the surrounding energy and the four of swords, it can be about, again, needing a break, um, feeling isolated, even maybe an interruption in something, needed, feeling tired, um, wanting to go on vacation, maybe get starting the planning stages of something like that. In terms of work, you may need a break from work or again, there could be some sort of interruption in your work. There could be a break in your work, still temporary. Um, but may, may be tied to this, whatever energy could be driving um, the Knight of Wands also. And in love, you're going to need to put an extra effort. So this is also probably tied to the Knight of Wands. Extra effort to uh, feeling or even being, you know, together. Um, so that's to be a conscious effort. And if there is some sort of flakiness... Um, especially if that's on the part of your partner, we also need to be open to the fact that our partner may be who is tired, you know, exhausted even. And for reasons other than our relationship, like for, you know, because of work or their health, God forbid, or something like that, or, you know, maybe something that involves their family separate and apart from us that has nothing to do with us. So we got to be open to that being a possibility too. And communicate communicate. If you are single and looking for love again, um, in that area, it's probably time to change the way that you've been going about it or in some sort of uncommitted relationship that's been on a break or that takes a lot of breaks, probably time for you got, you know, to change the tactics with regard to, um, that, you know, or those kinds of situations. Moving on to, Work and finance specifically, the Queen of Cups can be an actual person in your life and at your job um, and very possibly an, an, a direct water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, a Pisces or someone likened to those traits or attributes. It's possible that if this person exists there, that they used to be super cool and somebody you considered a friend, they were just so nice and accommodating and all of a sudden this person has morphed into like a control freak and like a bitch on wheels and you don't understand what that's about um she's all of a sudden like un you can't trust her or you don't feel like you can at least she's just mint judgmental against you and Really, the best way to handle this person is to not share any like information, anything that you don't want to be spread around um, with and share with everybody else. Don't tell her if you're single and looking for work. This, it's much more positive. There could be a woman who is helping you in landing a job right now in terms of finances specifically. Um, be careful about being too aggressive with your finances. So, you know, of course, spending more than you can genuinely afford um, or being really aggressive, maybe in the stock market or with gambling, large amounts. If you need that money to pay your rent, don't put it in a slot machine. You know, sometimes you can afford to do that. <laughs> and, you know, the energy is saying, go ahead, that's going to be fine. But th this is not one of those cards where it's saying that. All right. And lastly, love and relationship for you. Of course, the Knight of Cups is a fabulous card to have in this position. He is um, also like the Queen of Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, very possibly, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. Um, if you're single, this card can definitely indicate someone 
you know, sweeping you off your feet. So remember I just said you very possibly have met the one or will meet the one. It, maybe they're a water sign or um, it's just the card is demonstrating if it's not about their sign, just how positive and romantic and loving um, and nurturing the, the energy is going to be. It can be all kinds of commitments um, the, the Knight of Cups can be representative of. So if you're going from single to entering a commitment, meeting somebody, going on a date, um, you know, or just getting through the, getting to the talking stage. So we're at least engaged to that extent, becoming actually literally engaged, even getting married. Those are all things that the Knight of Cups represents. Uh, it's just super, super positive in areas of love and relationship for those who are in relationships already. And for those who are single and looking to get into one. And staying on that theme and like vibe, I'm pulling out this other deck here too. We're beginning with the page of cups or princess of summer, as they call it. She is sensitive, kind, open hearted and inexperienced. And like the queen and knight, of course, uh, a cancer, Scorpio or Pisces or someone likened to those traitor attributes, very possibly a Pisces and or this energy is being driven to you by the Pisces full moon. And I say, I'm just saying that because of the, the fish that's jumping out of the water here. You can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or a close platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. The next card is in reverse. It's the three of pentacles, which is another card that can have something to do um, perhaps with work, collaboration um, with other people, teamwork, partnership, meeting people um, that go on to be your friends or love interests and stuff at work and more abundance that's earned similar to major arcana card judgment but of course judgment is much stronger as a major arcana card threes are about creativity in general and abundance the creator as well as in like god the universe and using your creative means in order to bring about your own abundance in your own life and now we have an overall energy of the two of pentacles. And this is another one of these cards about balance, like the scales of balance um, that represent you. Too much going on at once. There's a need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. And the next card is in reverse. You could be giving a lot of your time to work and or your finances. And that would, you know, make sense in thinking about the fact that we started with the five of pentacles, because maybe a lot of you are worried about the material and or financial. So you've been putting a lot of effort maybe in time into that and maybe not so much into your relationships and nurturing yourself and those around you that you love. And so this card shows up to remind you to that you need balance in those areas. It also can be a card about a decision that you're having to make. And when it does have to do with a decision, in my experience, it's a decision specifically about earthly matters. So where you work, how many days you work, how many hours you work, if you're going on vacation and taking a break, um, if you're working instead of having a relationship or, you know, going into the job instead of going on a date, all of those kinds of things, where you live, um, with whom you live, <laughs> should we cohabitate, all those things, all those kind of earthly matters, earthly decisions tied to the two of pentacles and further to that your advice if you identify as a masculine archetype is it's another queen of cups she is compassionate loving giving and psychic this is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely be mindful that you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others so that's a similar message to what I was just talking about with the two of pentacles and need for balance. Also, some of you masculine may have been dealing with a woman at work, maybe romantically, not just as friends. And that may be why she's turned into a bitch and you can't trust her anymore. Um, feminine. Those who consider yourselves a feminine archetype. Y'all saw me shuffle these two. It's another knight of cups. So the queen of cups and the knight of cups in that order, just as they appear there showing up in your advice too. Um, and you saw me pick through the cards until I found one of the different decks. So there you go. <laughs> Boom. 
Um, the Knight of Cups is romantic, flirtatious, introspective, and enchanting. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced so that you know that's your key word th this period. And make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. For those of you for whom this doesn't translate into a romantic relationship, Again, it says probably romantic, but it's not always. I mean, this is this can be about emotional um, pleasure or fulfillment in some other area of your life. That job that you're falling in love with, you know, um, that opportunity, that thing you're manifesting that you just really feel good about. Okay. And from the other deck, <laughs> it's another Knight of Wands too. I couldn't make this up if I wanted to. So you got your Knight of Wands that I said most directly represents you during this period. And here is a second Knight of Wands, uh, particularly for the masculine among you. Knight of Wands is passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Um, Knight of Wands is a positive card, no matter what, in every area of your life that he touches, you know, so th when I was reading it before, this is from the Rider Waite deck In this deck, there are no reversals. So I have to assume that it's upright and that means, you know, positive messages. That means good thing in, in your work. That means good things in your finances. That means, um, you know, definitely positive things and good things for your relationships with other people and particularly in love. Although, again, there might be a delay. <laughs> there might be a delay. And lastly, but not least, for the feminine, it's another character, the King of Swords. He is brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. And this can be some of you, or this could be representing your own energy, right? Um, as a Libra, as well as that of any Geminis or Aquarians that may be significant in your life. Or someone likened to those traits or attributes. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice and balance mental and emotional considerations. Balance is definitely you guys' theme over the next two weeks at least. Um, this is saying if you've got something to say, say it. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Be clear. Be concise. You know, and, and have, have your voice heard. Speak your truth. Hope you guys have enjoyed your bi-weekly. I'll be back for you in two weeks. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, um, share, comment, all of that. I try to answer every comment that I get. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider becoming one by hitting both the subscribe button and the bell button. Namaste.